consider giving them our vote. Well, Samantha, each candidate has a unique reason on why they are the right fit for City Council Place 3. And here's what they said about why their name should be on your ballot. The signs are up and the days are numbered until City Council Place 3 is elected. The three candidates each have different reasons for running. For Corey Clements, a local lawyer, he's looking to bring young and fresh ideas to City Council. I want to keep the momentum that we have in Abilene going and to make sure that we have a council that's cognizant of what um, my generation and the young people and others in the community really need. After a while, I got to thinking that perhaps I needed to do this one last thing for my city. The uh, best way for us to start affecting our government is by starting at the local level. So I wanted to get involved with our city council and uh, see what kind of impact I could have. And all three candidates say they can contribute something unique to the community. Donna Albus has lived in Abilene for decades and says her community involvement gives her special understanding of the city's needs. I've spent years and years devoted to Abilene, working on many different projects with different groups to make her the best that she can possibly be. I have a fresh set of ideas and things to bring to the community uh, and a perspective for the council, not only as a young person, but as an attorney. I feel like I do know the pulse of what's going on in the community. But for Ryan Mars, an Abilene business owner, he says his knowledge of finances could help the city save some money. I'm actually willing to look at a budget and start making some hard cuts. Sometimes that's just the place we need to start. Everyone will pay lip service to that. Uh, but when it comes down to actually doing it, most of us shy away and we look at other ways of uh, maybe uh, raising taxes to increase our revenues. And One thing all three candidates agree on, Abilene's greatest strength is its people. And tomorrow night, make sure to watch KRBC News at 10 for part two of this series. We're going to be featuring the candidates running for mayor. And I will speak with each name on that ballot about the issues they find most important in the community and how they hope to fix them if elected. In studio, Madeline Montgomery, KRBC, Abilene's local news.